everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. The first four games of this playoff series have been intense, physical, and I expect nothing less in Game 5. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. And that's deflected. Made the stop on that play. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The Bruins take it along the wing. Sends the feet up front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Play rolls on. Takes the puck and loses control of the puck. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Takes the pass from the boards. Quick pass to hit a strong side. And he shut the door on that last play. Poked away in the offensive end. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. That's a solid hit. Here comes the call from the official. Shea's been nabbed for tripping. Chance of the night here on the man advantage. First power play opportunity of the game, and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Puck scooped up by Toborowski. Sets a pass in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, yeah, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on the power play. And as a result, they score. The Bruins and their fans are buzzing right now. How about that? A quick strike just minutes into this one. Well, that quick strike gets them on their feet. And listen, when you're playing, you can feel that energy. You feed off it when your home crowd is for you, especially when you're playing well. No better way than getting on the board first. Moves inside! Can't get it to go! Looks for his has got the puck in the defensive end. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Looks for his has got the puck against the boards. Tries to feed it over to Toborowski. Here they come on the attack. Puts it on the score! The way players train in the stick technology are a reason why a shot like this gets off so quickly, James. Absolutely incredible speed, but the amount of time to get it off the stick, that's the real deal breaker. Providence has been the busier team offensively, and they lead early in this one. McLaughlin's won the draw here in the open ice. Moves it to Arsenal. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Providence has really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Great reach with the poke check by Smith. Providence has got the puck against the half wall. And that one's turned away. From the right side, takes the pass. Still has possession. And down he goes as the puck goes free. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Puck moved over to Mitchell. Here they come on the attack. Grabs control of it at the point. And there's the save. Scooped up along the wall by Hall. Looks for Scranton's looking to break out. Dished on over to Ensigns. Here's a shot. Blocked in front. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Here's a short pass to Samarukov. Taken along the wall by Callahan. He carries the puck up along the wing. Dumps the puck in. 
Moves it quickly over to Kayakovic. Oh, look at this chance. Trying to get back on the attack now. Denies that opportunity. Di Pietro's all over that shot and makes an incredible save getting to the top of his crease quickly because that shot is going fast and in a hurry from the slot. Moves the puck. zone. Quick feed to Kayakovic. Providence has got possession of the puck. Puck grab by Toporowski. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Still lots of time left in the period. The Bruins lead this one to zip. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face off. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Handles it along the blue line. Let's see the call here. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to head to the box for two. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but they can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, it's the save! That was a rocket! Oh, another great save right there! The Bruins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face-off. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. The Penguins start with the puck in their own end. They gain the zone from the left side. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Takes a shot. Oh, a clutch save! Popping in, almost ready to get back on the ice. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. Well past the midway mark of this period, Providence has got a 2-0 lead. The Penguins win it in the defensive zone. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got a hold of the puck. Good stand-up hit on the play. Great stick work as he pokes it away. Look at this. Gains the zone. Digging in defensively to stop that rush. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Slick feed. Oh, misses the net. You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around, and you can see he saw the opening, but wasn't able to put it on net. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Di Pietro. Providence is capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. The Penguins win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Turned aside with a glove by Di Pietro. Kinestroza is a big name for this club and they rely on him to generate offense. Zaboral's able to steady his team defensively and still contribute points. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. The Bruins once again send out their power play unit. Power play scored earlier tonight, and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you executed the first time. The look they score! And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that special teams are so critical, James, and they have executed. 
executed with the player advantage all night long. Power play execution is all about retrieval and owning the puck. If you don't possess it, you can't score. But it comes right off of the faceoff. And how often do you work on these set plays where you're trying to get the look that you want and then you convert? Beautiful play all the way around. The Bruins have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. Providence has won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Takes the feed. Turned aside with the glove by Helper. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Past the midway mark in this period. Providence has really put the squeeze on here now up by three. Wilkesbury Scranton's going to start with the puck in their own end. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And he makes the save on that play. Here he is in close. The Bruins have it behind the net. Scrum along the boards. And they continue to apply pressure here. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. Look at the pass. They couldn't get that going now. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. The Goons back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And he takes the feed. And he gets in the lane to block that. Feeds it down low. Poulin's got the puck. They are slowing it out like bees here in the Ozone. Carries it across the line. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw down by a bunch of goals and then you get running around with frustration and out of control and that's the reason why you took a penalty. Providence's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Gotta love when it feels easy, James. When the power play is working, the puck is moving, there's motion, everything seems to direct it at the net. Quick pass to Sohorna. Now he grabs the puck. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Into the middle of the neutral zone. That's good by Helberg. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Anson's is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Take possession here inside the offensive zone. The Penguins pick up steam and are on the attack. Providence has got it from behind the net. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Oh, and the stick falls on the play. Well, and that's a tough one, James, when you're in a prime scoring area and you have to get back to the bench as quick as possible. So you go from being there and then being at the bench. The worst. Takes the feed from the left side. Moves it to Toborowski. Big time stop. Helbert's got the puck and he's going to hang on. The Bruins have come to play with some jump in their step tonight. Look at the shots on goal. They've generated an already lead comfortably near the end of the first. To the front. And that goes off a player. Goes off a stick. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game, and we'll be back with more. Don't miss a chance to see the great and the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second, because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Marlies 
weren't ready for this game right from puck drop, James. You could tell that they weren't focused. They weren't set and ready to go. They had no jump, no legs underneath them, and they certainly didn't possess the puck. They need to change that. Yes, they're getting blown out, but they need to reset, refocus, and get something going here in the second. Providence has got another opportunity here on the man advantage. And the power play is operating like this, been so successful. Yeah, you can pad your stats. Never knew this one because I was never on it. And they'll start with possession. There's the shot. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Zahorn has got it against the boards. Great heads-up play with the stick by Walsh. Takes it up center. Centering pass, and that's stopped. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Evan Donato's recognizing they're still short-handed here as they get ready for the face-off. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Talk about sacrifice. What a block. Here's a short pass to Toborowski. And he takes the dish. Takes it into the slot. The Penguins get a hold of the puck under man. Poked away at center by Walsh. Receives the pass. And he's got the answer for that one. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Providence's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Oh, nice stop with the glove by Helper. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Providence has got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Offense is on faceoff, and he wins the draw. Wilkesbury Scranton's looking to break out of their own end. Look out, here they come on the attack. That knocks him off the puck. Walsh is gaining momentum. That's broken up in the neutral zone. Here's a pass in front. The shot. Moves it to the middle. The Bruins take it along the wall. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Moves it quickly over to Hinnestroza. Sent in, and the defensive pairing will change it up. Sends the pass over. Moves the puck to Rikula. Right from center and into the offensive zone. Quick shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. The Bruins have it now. Penalty coming up here. I always hated to play in these games. You just came out flat and nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. There are many days when you don't feel that way, so you got to really enjoy these ones. Dumps it into the ozone. And he takes the feed. From the open ice, they gain the line. Sets it out in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent. And guess what? He gets the tripping call. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Four-on-four, -four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Center again! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Providence 
Johnson's got a hold of it along the wall. And they'll get some fresh bodies on the ice after that clear. Uh, this is how you get a wave of momentum in your favor, James. You get fresh legs out there, and if you can pay attention to your habits and get those good shift changes, you find a way to create energy up and down your lineup. Abandonado's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Paparowski's almost out of the box. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. The Penguins come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. Well, that power play really wasn't effective at all, James. And Coach won't be happy. A lot of possession time, but it correlated to nothing. You have to create some motion and be quick to be able to open up seams and lanes to the net. The Bruins have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. The Penguins win it. A chance! Oh, what a slick stop by Di Pietro! And that carries off a body in traffic. Mitchell's got it in the defensive end. And they keep the pressure on. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Scores! A huge goal here has put them right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, they'll be one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. The Penguins finally get one back. Now can they get a few more? Well, uh, you certainly know that you can get back in a game. Only a two-goal deficit, and sometimes it doesn't take long when you're on your toes and you're playing with urgency. Slides the puck over. And that's knocked away. Picked up along the boards by Rikula. Right up Main Street and on the attack. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Semarukov. Toss it up in the neutral zone. Providence has got the puck along the wall. And that's taken by the defense. Gains the zone from the right side. Great read with the stick. And that pass is redirected. With possession along the wall. Sends the feet in front. And that's stopped. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Grabbed along the board by Edson. Huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. More than half the period has expired. The Penguins are still trailing by two. Quick feed to Rapula. The Bruins take it across the blue line. Here's a chance! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on? Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right? Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Providence's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. Picked up along the wall by Callahan. That's blocked. Wilkesbury Scranton's across the blue line. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Di Pietro's been really sharp tonight, James, and then just have a look at his save percentage, and he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, his team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Buck has dropped, and we are back underway. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Fires it! Oh, a stick save! And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Can't connect. The Penguins played along the boards. Providence has got the puck along the wall. 
They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Here in the back half of this period, the Bruins are up 3-1. And off the draw, they take the puck. Good use of the body on the play. Great heads-up play in the neutral zone by McLaughlin. Jostles the puck loose. Wilkesbury Scranton's got a hold of the puck now. Puck not loose in the neutral zone. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. And they'll dump it in. The Penguins have played from the defensive zone. Makes a move in front! Providence has gained possession along the boards. Carries it in. Handles the puck. Quick pass to Johnstone. Here's a chance! Oh, denies him with the paddle save! The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Providence has been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they lead it here late in the second. The Bruins come up with the defensive zone draw. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Off the mask of the goaltender, boy, right between the eyes. Well, that's the type of save they say use everything to get in front of it, James. Is that jolts off the mask? In the final moments of this period, the Bruins have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. The Penguins will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Oh, how do you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those great A scoring chances. You have to find a way to, at minimum, get it to the net. But, man, I think he had a little more time on his side, and it just ricochets off his toe. Two on one, here we go! Takes a shot, denied on the play, oh wow! Hammers it on net, oh wow, stops him again! Second frame, almost done, well inside a minute now. And he slides it quickly to Toborowski. Driving right to the front! Oh, what a slick stop by Helberg! It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment.
for a faceoff. Lots of time left in this period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Moves it to Megda. Let's the wrist of fly. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Play is blown dead with the offside. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Puck picked up by Walsh. The Bruins played along the wing. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Scooped up along the wall by Nicker. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Now a quick pass to Shea. Taken along the wall by Hinestroza. Here's a short pass to Abigail Hinestroza's got it along the wing. They're all over the puck here, James. I mean, their opponent, they don't even have time to breathe. And he hangs on to the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the puck's booted away. Looks for Scranton's got the puck. Shea's stick handling in his own zone. The Penguins carry it along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Fadoon. Scores! The captain delivers! This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Wilfrey Scranton's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the ozone. Feeds it on over to Rakula. Here's a shot! Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. The Bruins two now here in the third and boy do they look good well, that's sending a message right to start the third period isn't it james listen you're dictating the pace in all different areas of the ice you come out in the third you get another one that's a great way to start third moves it quickly over to Kopitar. makes a great use of the stick right there to poke it away rakula's lugging the puck Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Providence has really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Providence has got it in their own zone. On the attack along the boards. Close save! The Penguins take it along the wall. Providence has got possession of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Arsenal. Along the half wall with the puck. Drills him. Quick feed to Smith. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Bats it out of midair. Sends a pass over. Handles the pass. Providence has got it in the wrong zone. Sends it in front, and that's intercepted. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's in transition. The Penguins have it from the corner. Just slide to the net. Providence has got the puck along the boards. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. 
Walsh has got it behind his own net. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Into the offensive zone. Kashkovich is the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Renouf's two-handed chop is going to send him off to the box. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Penguins are in transition. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Callahan. And that's intercepted by Regula. And they send it down the ice. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's on the attack. Here's a pass to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. With the blast. My goodness, what a save by DiPietro. Toss it up on the play. Good pass to Hinnestrosa. Blocked in traffic. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession, and you want to keep the pressure on, because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shots through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. Slides it over with pace to Shea. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Glove save. Past the midway mark in this period. Providence has been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Taken by Renouf. Takes the pass. Make this hooping in on the attack. The Penguins gain control of it. Moves around along the half wall. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Passed up ahead. Fast and quick lead pass. Walsh has got the puck in his own zone. Providence has got him along the wall. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Fires it on net. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Into the corner of the attacking area. Quick shot. Denied by the goaltender. Di Pietro's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. Takes the feed. Stops him with the glove. I'm not sure how he saw this puck, James. I mean, he's screened. There's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. The Penguins have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. The Bruins start with the puck in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Picked up along the boards by Joshua. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Here's a pass down low. Ansons explores his options in the corner. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. And another call against the home team, and these fans have... I think they've had enough. They've had enough, and they're booing at the officials and for the players. This is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the official's going to call the game, and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. Who had the edge? Carl's standing by with the answer. Saboral's been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. Stop that one. 
Di Pietro's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Trying to shake the defender! He's clear! They'll play some four on four. The power play has been extremely effective tonight, but the pressure is on at this critical juncture. You can't overthink it. You gotta want the puck. Continue to do what you're doing. Looks for his Scranton's gonna hold him it against the wall. Abbott Donato's got it in the offensive zone. Puck grab by McLaughlin. Providence has got it against the boards. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. And he gives it over to Abadonato. Shea's gain the line and on the attack. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Penalty expires and they'll go to work with a man advantage. Not much, but it's still a power play. Gives them nothing in front. Capitalize on this power play. Here comes the faceoff. Scoops up the puck off the draw. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up. And you can have all the possession time in the world, but if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. Offside the call. We'll get a faceoff coming up. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the puck against the boards. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Here's a shot. Oh, wow, another great stop. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. 26 seconds left. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. The Penguins are running out of time to even things up here. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they trail late in the third. Oh, a true warrior to block that. The Bruins take it along the way. Wide open net. Right into the wide open cage. It's an empty net goal. Uh, and a sigh of relief as well, as it's a real insurance marker. You, you put it in the empty cage, and you don't ice it. That's a good thing. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Abbott Donato's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Series. Another response game, James. I mean, they're staring down elimination, and they put together a great performance to get it done. You're their opponent. Listen, you got to be getting nervous. You keep saying to yourself, listen, we got to get it done. we got to get it done. So the mindset is starting to shift here. And the next game, it's going to be a good one. Well, what a night of hockey, and the intensity will only continue to ramp up at the next playoff game, and we will see you all then here at EA Sports.